In general news, many of the soldiers killed in the recent fightings are newly mobilized men who completed their training in Russia and were recently deployed to the front lines. However, due to organizational issues within the Russian army, these soldiers were often packed into buildings, destroyed based in Makivka's example, because proper plans for dispersing them had not been made. Ukrainian officials have stated that this successful wave of precision strikes is just the beginning, and as Russian troops continue to move into the area, they will be able to trace and target them. Today, the Ukrainian Air Force conducted 13 strikes targeting concentrations of Russian forces, command posts and ammunition depots, including a successful strike in Fedorivka. Russian forces have also targeted Ukrainian objects, including an ice skating ring in Trushkivka that was being used as a hangar for ammunition and equipment. Now let's talk about the front line. In Swatovay direction, Russian forces attempted to attack Ukrainian positions in the Stelmachivka and Makivka area, but their efforts were unsuccessful. Also, they attempted to further push Ukrainian forces away from the Plashanka settlement, but the attack was successfully repelled. On Severodonetsk direction, Russian forces tried to move towards Bilohorivka, the Hologansk Oblast, but were stopped by Ukrainian defenders. After failing to gain control of Solidar, Russian troops tried to bypass the city by attacking from Yakovlevka towards Rozdolivka, but their efforts were unsuccessful and the attack was repelled. On the Bakhmut front, clashes are ongoing in Solidar. The enemy was able to push east of Vidhorodne and launch an attack towards Krasnohora, but the attack was unsuccessful and was repelled. Ukrainian forces also successfully stopped the Russian attack on Vidhorodne. Ukrainian soldiers have reported repelling a series of additional attacks in the Klishivka, Kodjumivka and Ozeryanivka region. Despite these victories, the situation remains complex. Bakhmut city. The enemy has made progress by advancing further into the forest to the north of the industrial zone. Intense fighting continues. In Opetne, intense fighting didn't stop either. On Avdivka direction, Ukrainian forces successfully stopped the Russian attack on Krasnohorivka and Avdivka. In the next direction, heavy fighting continues in Marinka. On Zaporizhia and Kherson Cross, there is no significant changes. The total combat losses of the enemy was approximately 720 troops, 2 tanks, 6 armored personnel vehicles, 6 artillery systems, 1 anti-aircraft warfare system, 3 UAV operational tactical level, and 10 vehicles and fuel tanks. Thank you for watching, if you liked the video, please press the like button, leave a comment because it helps the channel and motivates me to upload more. Have a good day!